YouTube, your boy Bull Rider here. I am about to show you how to make a twin bed. I made one of these beds already for my son. So that was a proof of concept. It turned out great. So now I'm gonna make another one. So check it out. All right, so we're back from Lowe's. We got the goods. Now, like I said before, I've already made one of these beds, so I knew exactly what lumber I needed to buy. I did that because Lowe's has this awesome app that tracks all your purchases. So I knew exactly what lumber I needed. I had very little scrap after I made the first bed. So I'm gonna go change. And then we're gonna get started, see what we knock out today. It's already 4.30.
those are done. It's taking me a long time. I will say, these Japanese chisels, they are amazing. I can still shave with this. Super sharp after cutting that. Um, I guess I messed up one of my measurements. Actually, two of my measurements. This was supposed to be five and what was it? Look at the notes here. Seven sixteenths. Well, it'll turn to be another sixteenth ahead of that, so five and a half inches. So after cutting all those and seeing that my test board, and this board is the same size as all the rest of the boards, both width and uh, thickness, I had to go back and cut them all again because this wasn't tall enough. Also, it's supposed to be three quarters. I guess that's what I get for using a uh, cheap caliper because there's a bit of a gap there. And the other bed that I did all by uh, hand, I didn't use any, anything like that. I didn't have a, a whole lot for tools. So I just traced each board and cut a little smaller than that. And it's a nice tight fit on the other bed. This has got a bit of a gap. Not perfect, but I'm not a professional. And the other one's a uh, super tight fit. I ended up actually bruising the edge of the wood on the corners here to get the slide in. Not too bad. Like I said, I got them all cut, all mortised out. It is quarter after six. I'm pretty tired already. But I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to get everything ready to piece together. I'm going to get everything cut and ready. And then tomorrow we'll go into uh, actually assembly. And you'll see the finished product. And uh, I was surprised from my first bed how, how sturdy it actually was. My sons will have these beds forever. I'm not making them another bed. They're not making another bed. I think they'll, they'll last forever. I think their kids will be sleeping in it, and my great-grandkids end up sleeping in it. Well, unless they sell it for crack or something like that. Anyways, it's a good bed. Um, I am going to make a SketchUp file of this bed because I'm so impressed with it. And uh, I'll make that available somewhere below. You'll see it. So here I'm cutting the top and bottom pieces for the headboard and the footboard and then I gotta cut all the little rails that I'm gonna put in there I don't know why but seven seemed to be the number for the material I had from when I made the first bed so it'll be uh, seven on the front seven on the back everything's ready that is going to make the bed. Now cutting all that up, this is what I have for scrap. These are the 4x4s from the front. Uh, didn't need 436 inches there. That's it. That's all the scrap. Hey, what's up? I know this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to cut it now. Part 2 will be coming out tomorrow if i got time to edit it. Thanks for watching.